at a prison in Bonterre on Tuesday, the state of Missouri carried out the first execution of an openly transgender woman in the history of the United States. Amber McLaughlin, 49, was put to death for the murder of Beverly Gunter. McLaughlin, then known as Scott, raped and stabbed Gunter, 45, 20 years ago in Earth City, Missouri, before dumping her body in the city of St. Louis. McLaughlin's final moments were spent in a small, white room in the state's Eastern Reception and Diagnostic Corrections Center. She was accompanied by a spiritual advisor, Lauren Bennett, who sat by her side when a 5 mg dose of pentobarbital was administered at 6.39 p.m. what appeared to be the outline of a strap used to secure McLaughlin to a hospital-like bed could be seen beneath the white linen under which she Bennett appeared to speak and sing to McLaughlin after the injection. McLaughlin breathed heavily a few times before succumbing to the drugs. The official time of death was 6.51 p.m. McLaughlin's final written statement was, I am sorry for what I did. I am a loving and caring person. This morning McLaughlin was served a final meal of a cheeseburger, french fries, a strawberry milkshake and peanut m and mids. The execution represents the first time a woman has been put to death in Missouri since 1953, when the federal government executed Bonnie Brown Hetty for kidnapping and murdering the child. The younger brother of McLaughlin's victim, Al Wadipo, 58, witnessed the execution. He remembers Gunter as the best sister anybody could ask for, a woman whose life was taken from her just as she was reinventing herself after her marriage collapsed. Provided by Al Wehipel Beverly Gunter, 45, was murdered on November 20, 2003. After the depression of the divorce, she was finally starting to bring herself back on track, Wehipel says. Gunter hadn't worked when she was married and the house she lived in hadn't belonged to her, but Wedipo recalls his sister in the wake of the divorce establishing an independent life. She bought a car. She bought a house. She was really turning her life around, Wedipo says. It took a few years, but she finally got herself back together. Then she met McLaughlin. The worst mistake she ever made, Wedipole says.